This video is now brought to you by GeekRetreat.com Oh, what's up people? Dobbs Wars is right here and welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh! pack opening. Oh my goodness people, as you guys know, I am back from Tokyo. Even though this video is being recorded in January, yes, recording date of this video right now is the 17th of January, which is my birthday today, so I thought why not do my pack openings today. So, as you guys know, it, this is around about January, February, March, April, if I recall. Is it April? Yes, it's April. I'll be doing all my um, vlogging of Tokyo and everything throughout this month and possibly next month as well, so get yourself prepared for all that lot. But besides all that lot, we're also doing pack openings as well. So today, it is old. <laughs> it's from the last um, structure deck that's come out recently. And this is the Dark World structure deck. This is the first time me actually looking at this structure deck, to be honest. I know it's quite late, but you guys know me. I'm Mr. Late, as always, when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon Back Openings. But either way, you guys still like it. I enjoy it. Let's have a look at the player and everything. And I can easily give myself a, an 8 out of 10, or you know, a rating out of 10 for this. I love the play map. I have seen the actual proper play map before in uh, Geek Retreat and you know, everything like that. It looks amazing, just to tell you truthfully, people. It is really, really cool. But let's have a look at the um, actual card itself. And I've heard that there is a card in here that's actually now become meta. Everybody's using it in nearly every single deck. It's literally that powerful. And it is freaking ridiculous, to be honest. And luckily, I do. I only have one box, you know, one structure deck of this. Probably I will get more in the future. Just get rid of these. So, here we go. Let's go have a look. So you have the Riga Borax, the Overking of the Dark World. So you can special summon this card from your graveyard by removing one level seven or lower Dark World monster you control. To, you control to to your hat to the hand, and if you discard this card to the graveyard by card effect, you can add one level five or higher Dark World monster from your deck and add it to your hand. Bloody hell! It's like a proper search card. That is really really good. Uh, Dark World Puppetry, really cool card this. Tag it up to three cards in any graveyard and banish them. Then discard one Fiend Monster. During your main phase, except this turn was sent to the graveyard. You can banish this card from the graveyard and then target one of your banished Fiend Monsters. Add it to your hand. You can activate it once per turn. Wow. Uh, Dark World Archives. During your main phase, you can discard one Dark World monster, and if you do, Dark World monsters you currently control gain attack equal to the level of the discarded monster. Oh my god, by 100. Sheesh! And then, by the effect of Dark World, you do a step, you can discard one card, then draw two cards. Oh my god, it's a Pos Greed as well. Now, this is the card that everybody is using Gorfio Dragon Overlord of Dark World. So, yeah, one dark monster, and then of course, um, where's the other card? Um, give you a dragon, Lord of the Dark World. Uh, is this him? No, that's not him, so he must be somewhere in this deck. Well, yeah, um, it's super duper broken, it's really, really good to be honest. Your opponent discards one card, which is a very, very bonus for it, but also it can screw you over as well if they work with dark world cards as well. Um, when your opponent activates monster effects or normal spell or trap cards, while you have this card in your, while, while you have a, while you have cards in your hand, quick effect, you can activate these effects to become your opponent's card. This other one, it's it's really really broken, people. To be honest, if you want to more, learn more about this card, please watch a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh matches because a lot of people are using this deck, this card very much so right now. Uh, Dark World Ascension. This is pretty much the fusion card for it. Then we have Genta, the Gate Man of the Dark World. We've got Pala, the Hermit. Dark World Punishment. And now it's time for the main cards. Now the main commons. Now these cards are pretty much the well-known cards from the past few years. Uh, some of them were ultra rares, some of them were secrets, and some of them were actually ultimates or ghost rares. I remember him as an ultimate rare. And I remember him being a super. He was a rare, he was an ultra, he was a common, if I remember he was like an ultimate or a secret, some rare cards in here to be honest people. He was the most common card that we all know, same for this dude. Here comes the most broken cards in this deck that is going to be purely meta as always. Danger Bigfoot is a common which is fantastic, Thunderbird, Mothman, 
Tosu Koro, which used, which was a, which is the, I think this is the first reprint of this card because the original print is a secret. Really good to have it as a common. And then we have Lady, Lady of Lamant, Fable Raven, really good card. Backjack, Dark World Dealings, good for your Exodia decks if you really want to go for that one. Changing to the Dark World, Gateway to the Dark World, Dark World Lightning, which is like a Regeki almost. Drag down to the grave, card destruction, good old classic card. The Force of Darkness, Dark World Brainwash, Dark Smog, Mind Crush, which is so freaking strong in this game, in, in this dueling mechanism right now. Deck Devastating Virus, quite a viable card. We've got another one, uh, quite a viable. Skill Drain as well, people, very viable card. Fantastic as a common, as you guys know, common cha charity, this will go up in value. Here's the card that you need for the fusion card that you need. And then we have the Gates of the Dark World, which is one of the newest cards. So, what do I think about this deck? The deck alone is quite freaking strong. And I have actually have faced this deck before. Um, I have seen it being played in my local um, tournaments in Bury. And to be honest, people, it's a nasty deck. It really is nasty. Um, if you don't have a clue how it works, you will have a bit of a rough time. But if you know exactly how it, how it works from the past of Yu-Gi-Oh! And literally, people, this is a deck that's from way, way beyond the past. And I mean it, people. The past with this deck would have been absolutely devastating, to be honest. Especially for that fusion card. Anyhow, what do I rate it out of 10? I can give it a good solid 8 out of 10. There's some fantastic reprints. Of course, the Danger cards and Skill Drain is a fantastic reprint. But of course, the new Dark World cards are fantastic and amazing. And of course, having a new Ultra Rare card from Dark World actually becoming a meta card is quite ridiculous, people. It really is. So, yeah, if you guys really want to get this product, please do check out in nearby stores. Of course, a lot of places do have it, game in the UK, Smiths, but of course, geekretreat.com. They do have them as well, they do have quite a lot of them. They didn't sell all of them all in one go, so if you guys want to get one soon, please do get them before they're all completely gone, because I know this card will go up in value down the line. So, with that being said, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and the people I'm going to see you guys subscribing, and I'll see you guys for the next video. Next video, I promise you, it's going to be a big one. Cheerio! Not bad structure deck. Can't wait for the next one though, which is if our member is the Trap Tricks. Can't wait for that one to look at. I like getting these, these are nice. I don't have a clue what the values are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah! Ah!